Hi, Bruce from Safari. And uh, about uh, coming up a year ago, we put solar on this uh, 60 foot cat. And uh, we're just gonna show the solar performance now, um, a year later. And uh, to do that, we're going to go in and look at the solar history. And uh, we've got our Copperflex panels on the starboard and port deck. And you can see now 11 o'clock in the morning, uh, 600 watts on the starboard deck. It's now doing 539, 540 watts at uh, 11.30. Um, but let's have a look at the history and the daily history of this. And um, uh, there's 539 today, what we're looking at yesterday, 698. Um, the day before, 713 watts. Now, the secret you'll see is 131 volts. So we have our DC to DC for solar here. You see that that produced for 13 hours and produced 2.38 kilowatt hours. Now that's just an incredible result. And let's have a look now onto the port deck. And if we go to the port deck, um, and there's some uh, limited shading here that's occurring. And the shading is from the uh, stays uh, that are up there. Here we are here, 692 two days ago, 129 volts, 2.34 kilowatt hours. That's also the copper flex. It's also got the DC to DC. And then we go on to the aft uh, deck, which is glass, and this is all the sun power 400s. We've got 2,000 watts up there. And here we are yesterday, 265, the day before, which seems to be a better day, 2133 off uh, 2,000. Now, the yield on this is, you can see we're running this at uh, 66 volts coming off, and they're all in parallel. So the important thing here to note is that the series connection through the DC to DC for solar is producing as good a result as the parallel on the um, top draw um, uh, sun power. This is also 13.31 hours here, very similar a period of time. And I've got to say this is uh, uh, just a testimony to both the copper flex and the DC for solar. And I've got to say, how good's that?